What's up, world? He for days to do straight. Got another unboxing review for you guys. Bow. Came in a spring water box. I thought it was something else. By, by the orange Nike box. I kind of know what it is. Um, uh, that probably come later on today. UPS or something. And I'll hit y'all. Um, shout out to everybody, man, that been doing these videos. Um, I really don't have a lot of time, a lot of the times uh, to really, you know, uh, do these. So I try to hit y'all the best I can. Um, yeah, so shout out to all and everyone that puts in all that work, man, and all that time with the reviews, unboxing reviews, uh, keep the culture moving forward. Uh, especially shout out to everyone that does it because they love it. Not to get anything out of it. Okay? So that's the first movement. Um, shout out to, I think, three subs now. Three subscribers. Shout out. Um, in a minute when things pop off, they're going to come subbing by the hundreds in one day. But um, let's get into this unboxing review. Um, it came kind of flimsy. Like wrapped up in a water, spring water box, as you can see. But it is what it is. Okay, that's cool. See that? Okay, so it don't take much, people, sellers, companies, um, when you ship stuff, um, to use some bubble wrap, uh, newspaper, the stuff they send you in the mail, soliciting. Uh, so when you double box, you can put that stuff in there to help the box stay crispy like this, fresh. You know what I mean? Don't take much, especially when it's more than one shoe box inside. Um, Nike box. Swish. Know what it is? Anybody? Ten and a half US, nine and a half UK. What up, world? Yeah, Sports Blue. Keep in mind, this is the year of the six. And this has been the year of Sports Blue, too. Keep that in mind, so don't sleep on Sports Blue joints. Air Jordan 1, man, KO highs. Oh, jeez. Black, black, Sport Blue. Box price, 140 Yes, sir. Um, just came back from the mall. Uh, probably got that video already. The ones, mids, uh, some bronze. They had them available. Uh, so, you know. Sports blue rag with it. That's cool. Can tell that um, from Nike. Check them out and then put them back in the box. There you got them. These are crispy. These are DS. These are fresh. And these are heat in my eyes. Don't wait. Two, three years till they're 350. Extra shoelaces blue. Sports blue. What y'all think? Let's get the other one out though. Bow. That. Uh, no receipt. Uh, I have to message her about that. Uh, like I said, I'll go back to the mall boutiques uh, where I was at yesterday and cop another pair. If needed. And these are nice, man. You guys know the movement with the KOs, man. With the sports blue is something else. Really is something else. First, let me read y'all the little thing with that, which I think should be the same as they always have been. And it's gonna be hard. Nike and the swoosh name and stripe arc trademark and your guarantee of quality swoosh with the R trademarked. Then you have the same thing Nike term swoosh K. I think it's in par in French. Excuse me if, if it's not. But oh man, let's check them out. Check out the toe box. Clean. Swoosh. 
bottom sports blue Nike. I'm not gonna say <clears throat> it's a vibe. It's kind of vibrant. Not like the Miz with, with like the ice, like you know, like diamond looking sprinkles. But it's kind of vibrant. I don't know if it catches it on camera. Right way inside. Yeah, inner sole black, Nike, swoosh sports blue. Sports blue, Nike swoosh black. That's what I read y'all. I don't know. The ticket, the tag, the snatch is right here. Stitched gray kind of outline. Ten and a half US, nine and a half UK. Uh, let's see, February 26, 2014, May 19, 2014, dates, man, China, of course, got the jump man in there, the air KO right there is very, very shiny and vibrant, you can feel it a little bit, um, of course, you have the black laces, your tongue, that like Krylon, nylon type of feel, good quality. I know the, the material is not, you know, suede, new butt on these, it's all very, very vibrant, eyelids black, PVD'd out, shiny. The leather um, is up here in black. From the back, I guess we could start the heel tab. Leather. Right there. Leather. Leather up in here. All up under there. Leather. Here you have leather on the ankle too. Ankle support. Leather. The blue, of course, right here. Leather. The swoosh blue is leather. Leather. And everything else is not. It's that. Anybody know the exact word? Like correct? I know what I call it, but let me know. Get the sub up. Yeah, sports blue bottoms, nice, crispy, midsole white, stitched up white, then you got the black, black, sports blue, toe box, sports blue, black, nice, Nike. These are heat, man. These are nights, man. 140 box price. Um, once again, I didn't know uh, a lot of people saying a lot of things about these. Don't sleep on them. Uh, don't sleep on them. Trust me. Don't sleep on them. Especially this year with the sports blue movement. They cool. Let me know what y'all think about the video. The review. Copped. Dropped. Thinking. Didn't get a chance. He for days 23, copper, cop, man. 140 box price. I need to do more movements at 140 box price. But, um, yeah, 190 right here shipped. Um, so I'll hit the seller up, send me the receipt, unless it's tagged in a box or something. But, um, I'll hit her up with that. Not a big deal. Uh, receipts, uh, genuine dead stock from Nike. Uh, we, uh, good seller, not a problem. Uh, got back from the mall though, they were available. Uh, probably get another pair if I can, etc., etc. But the receipt movement with me and why is important to me. Besides authenticating the shoe, which is not that serious if it's genuine. You know what I mean? And you know what you're doing. Uh, for future references, it's good. Me personally, all them details and descriptions. 100% authentic, genuine, brand new, dead stock, never worn, fresh from Nike. All the photos are here, don't ask for no photos, blah, 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 etc., etc. All right, great. Uh, do you have a receipt with it? No. 
All that goes out the window. All that don't matter. You can put the longest description as you want. You can put all them photos if you want. If I'm looking to purchase, you're going to lose that purchase because you don't have the receipt. You should know already. You purchase a shoe from Nike. You order it from Nike, Foot Locker, Foot Action, Finish Line, any boutique, Bernini, you name it. They give you a receipt. You put the receipt in a box with the shoe. If you don't, if it's an online movement, y'all watch my earlier videos, how I deal with sellers and especially new sellers. You print out that receipt, you get the receipt that they send you with a black sharpie, you mark out all your information. Your name, your address, whatever you don't want on there. Except that it was purchased from Nike, of course it has the name and model of the shoe and the price you paid and it's a wrap. No exceptions, it will not be tolerated. Simple as that. So you can't put all them, you know, 100% genuine, blah, blah, blah. Besides the, the companies and sellers that I deal with that they can't send me a receipt because their receipts have like a hundred shoes from just that one order, you know. But the, the bad thing is no receipt. The good thing is I don't have to worry about nothing. I'm secure. I know what they are. I know they're genuine. No B grades, no second-hand shoes, etc., etc. Besides that, new sellers and all that, all that description and all that, you know what I mean? My counterpunch to all that detail and description is message right away. Receipt, question mark. You got a receipt. No, I don't. Excuses, I think. I lost it. And, and this and that. And, and I don't know. Sound like Kevin Hart, kind of. Uh, all that shit don't matter. Out the window. I don't know, yeah, I mean, I lost it, I think Nike, I guarantee you, nah, mm -mm. don't matter, need that receipt, give you that 360, man, nice shoe, man, it's a nice shoe, it is, and then I'll do, this, I'll do a sports blue video towards the end of the year, all the sports blue models and all that, I just hit y'all with the, um, the pickup I did, man, um, the ones, Black Black, um, Varsity Red, I forget this description, check them out, man, Heat, 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 and 140 box price, this is cool, um, not gonna be there for long, quality, looking at them, yeah, dead stock, fresh, clean, clean shoe, brand new, DS, genuine, Look crispy, look good. Definitely a shoe that um, I wouldn't mind uh, paying and, wear, and wearing these. You know, I wouldn't mind paying and wearing, for, wearing these. But I gotta go ahead back, get them boutiques and pay that 140 box price and get a pair put up. Sports Blue Year. Look at that, man, these are nice. And the sports blue switches up, man, from like the threes to the sixes to different ones. It's sports blue, but you got different little touches and different little, you know, accents. Uh, the bottom is sports blue. Everything's sports blue. It's just um, the bottom, man, so it's a little more vibrant. Just cool Nike switch, bow, all sports blue. It's again the leather. Up here, y'all know the KO ones. Air Jordan, Nike. And keep in mind, these are kind of like limited edition joints when they do these KOs, man. You know, Air KO. Pow. No Air Jordan, no nothing, but you know what it is. Air Jordan getting paid. It's an Air Jordan 1. Like a limited joint, you know. So these are definitely a must cop. It's a great looking shoe. I'll give you all the 360 upside down, like always. 720 from the other way. What y'all think? Nice shoe.
That's what I think. Straight up. All right, man. Once again, shout out to everybody that does the reviews, the unboxing, plugs people, helps people, does all that. It's clean, man. Um, these things, um, force fields, plug, check out my videos. I don't want to step over and grab them. Um, the KOs, if you rock them, they do crease. Um, on, always on these, on the KOs, I always uh, go a half size up. For me, straight up, always. As far as Jordan, um, I do 10s, 10 and a half, 10. Mostly don't have a problem. I just like a half size up sometimes. These, definitely I can do 10, I mean 11 and a half, so no problem. The 10s that I have that I worn, it's cool. They just get tight for some reason, always. So, once again, I was, um, the mids I purchased and the other ones I purchased, um, I was even going to go 11 and a half too. Got to fix that comment, too. Not that I don't like them off the rack. I like them off the rack. It's cool. Just uh, not size 12. But the only problem with off the rack is they've been touched a lot. Looked at. You know, you got guys with dirty hands. That's the only problem. So you got to check them out real fresh. That's why I hit three spots. But I contradicted myself on the last video twice. But I'll make sure I address it properly. Yeah, man. Um, Instagram just started once again. Shoot Gang Craze 23. You got the links. We're doing a lot of movements out here. This channel, all the links you'll have it go inside the channel. Link, discount codes, uh, you name it. Just getting started. I think these are cool. I think these are heat. I think these are a must cop for this year for the Sports Blues collection. Uh, gotta have these in there. I just might need to go. Pay 140 for them before it's too late. If I can, pay that 140 before it's too late. Once again, I need to pay that 140 and get one with the ticket. I'm just sure, uh, good seller, great seller. The things she forgot, um, it's gonna send her a message. Oh, she'll send it to me. Not a big deal. Once again, whatsoever. And once again, the whole ticket situation with me and boxes, y'all get to see and know. Uh, it's not really just authenticating the shoe. Is later on, I want that shoe to be opened up and have, you know, when it was purchased, how much it was paid for, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, not only to authenticate the genuine and authenticity of the shoe, but when you go back years and open things up, you want to have that receipt that invoice in there even if you got to print it out and you know black things out you want to have that receipt in there that shows you the model the shoe where it was purchased how much it costed at that time uh you name it and once again on ebay new sellers yeah man no you got i got i need a receipt all them photos and all the descriptions don't mean nothing you know, especially with new, 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 new joints. You know what I mean? Like new joints. Like, oh no. And there's some good deals, man. I got some sellers that got some heat, man. Great prices. Shoes that are going for six. You know what I mean? For 279, 259, 278. And I don't bust a move because, you know, the message comes back with no receipt. Sorry. You know, I guarantee though, if not, return them. ASAP, money back, yeah, the, the, the biggest thing I hate to do, I'll be straight 100 with you guys, the biggest thing I hate to do is have needing, needing refunds, needing to go to the post office, ship things back, that's the biggest thing I hate to do. I don't like boxing shoes up, double boxing them, going to the post office, filling that shit out, it's the, one of the things I hate. Unless I'm doing it for somebody that purchased a shoe from me, a trader sale or something, or looking out. Besides that, I don't want to return nothing to anybody, to any corporation, any company, any seller. I don't want to return anything. I hate that, you know. Watch um, the Perfect 2 Yeezy stuff, which y'all made me do. Uh -huh. So I had to do it just to do the video and review, see what the hype is about. and yeah, Just check the video out, not going to say nothing. But there you have it, man. Unboxing review live. 
sports blue ones, man. KO's. Blue. Black, black, blue, sports blue. Give it to you. Exactly. Air Jordan 1, KO High, OG. Black, black, sports blue. Box price 140, man. Can't beat that. Man, these are great shoes. I don't know if you copped, you passed, thinking, watching a video, review what y'all think. Don't forget to sub up, man. Subscribe, hit that thumbs up, hit that like button. Get deep. I think the next few videos, I got some heat. I got some heat right behind me. I need to open it. Like I said, shout out to everybody that does these videos. I don't know how y'all find the time to do it. And editing and all that. Shout out to all y'all, man. Y'all keep the culture moving forward. Um, yeah, get some time. I'll do them joints for you. Got some heat coming. Out of the country editions, limited, non-US releases. Everything on the shoes flawless. Looking at it with y'all with the review. Dead stock, brand new, genuine. Uh, shoe tree movement. Real quick, shoe tree. There's the ticket to snatch that inside. I read to y'all with the KOs always. Nike. I have the light turned on for this one so y'all can see the inside in the vibrant blue. Sports blue on the Nike, otherwise, it won't catch it. There's that once again. Feel good. You look good. Never mess with them. Go half size up. You that Air KO right there, shiny, like your one Air Jordan, except, you know, Air KO, limited editions, cop them, blue laces on the black, what y'all think? I think the blues might look cool on each, <clears throat> way better than the blacks, depends how you feel though. I think the blue ones might look good, definitely to rock put some lace locks with the sports blue tip on them, for my movement, to wear. Yeah, there's the rag. But no tiki, no tiki, no laundry, man. I need that from new sellers. Okay, so everybody knows me. I need the ticket. Unless it's a legitimate motion, movement is different. Like this seller. But still, it's not just to authenticate the shoe. I need that ticket, man, to put up in the box if I'm going to put them up. For future references, you name it. What a good, nice looking shoe. Blue and red, my favorite colors. Even better put together. Force fields, these get the crease in when you rock them. Force fields, toe box protectors from creasing. I use force fields. I'll plug them. Check my videos. I plug them in one or two. Plug them again. Everybody knows about them, though. For those who don't, there you have it. Official unboxing review. He for days 23. Right here with y'all, and that's that, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, the review on the Sports Blue. Don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to my three subscribers. <laughs> uh, and until next time, man. Y'all got it. Be easy. Be safe. Labor Day weekend, man. Um, trust me. Cop these while you can at a good price. All right? 100. One.